This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 3.6. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 3 Supplemental Problems on page 9. Given this circuit, could you find the Thevenin equivalent looking in the terminals A and B and use that to solve for I sub X? The first step in Thevenin's theorem is to remove the load, shown here, and find the voltage across the open circuit. Because there's no current here, the current in the 10 ohm resistor is the same as the current in this 10 ohm resistor, so we have a voltage divider of a half. And because of the open circuit here, all this current is going to flow into the 5 ohm resistor and create a voltage of 10 volts. The Thevenin voltage would be this node voltage, if we think of this as a common connection or ground, minus this node voltage, 5 minus 10, or minus 5 volts. The second step of Thevenin's theorem is to set all the independent sources equal to zero. So we're going to short the 10 volt source, open the 2 amp current source. This short circuit, we have 10 in parallel with 10. All of that's in series with 5, back between terminals A and B. 10 in parallel with 10 is 5. Adding 5 to that, we get 10 ohms. Our Thevenin equivalent circuit, with respect to terminals A and B, is that the plus sign of the Thevenin voltage is near A and the minus near B. And that was equal to a minus 5 volts with a Thevenin resistance of 10 ohms. If you don't like minus signs, you could flip this over, get a plus 5 in this direction, and now put the load back on. With the voltage here, we would be pushing current in this direction of 5 volts divided by the total resistance of 16 ohms. The current I sub X is the opposite sign. Minus 5 divided by 16, minus 312.5 milliamps. And this is supplemental problem 3.6.